again, the internet is not something that you just dump something on. It's not a big truck. It's, it's a series of tubes. So it's a, it's a global system of interconnected computer networks that use standard internet protocol, TCP IP, to serve billions of users worldwide. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, we're, we're going to talk a little bit about the different protocols and, and, and why, how systems talk between each other. So is it, is it my turn? Yeah. All right. So during TCP IP stands for? It stands for Transmission Control Protocol, and then the internet IP stands protocol. for Internet Protocol. I, I don't think you had to ask that question. The, the technology world was live in a well. And actually, uh, in the early 60s, RAN, UCLA, and MIT actually came up with this concept called packet switching. Uh, in a nutshell, it's very similar to the way broadcast works between like TV sets. Uh, packet switching is the concept that we sort of take data, break it up into little tiny distinct packets, send it across a, a wire, and on the other end, the remote system grabs all those packets and reassembles them into something useful. So that's what packet switching is. And packet switching essentially allowed DARPA, which is what was a Defense Advanced Research Projects Association, <laughs> to develop ARPANET. And ARPANET was the first public network. ARPANET was actually designed for government uh, entities and other educational institutions. So in 1968, there were actually four nodes. They called them nodes, ironically. Four computers on ARPANET, and they were communicating, and they were all educational and or governmental organizations, all, all public, well, public institution, but uh, not publicly accessible. So in the 70s, uh, right around the time disco was getting big, 1972, ARPANET had 30 nodes. So in four years, they basically multiplied by eight, which is quite a feat. Um, the first email was sent. It was actually an electronic message. And ARPANET was never designed to actually send email, but operators on ARPANET actually realized that there was this neat thing happening. It was actually the different nodes sending small tidbits of information back in the form of electronic message. That was a very primitive form of email communication. As a result of this, they came up with the concept of mailing lists. So the first mailing list was actually created in the early 70s. And that was the ability to send one message to everybody. So in 1974, TCP, Transmission Control Protocol, protocol is basically a set of instru uh, instructions that allows different systems to talk to each other. Uh, so TCP was actually the predecessor to what we're using today in terms of the internet, uh, but this was a pretty big uh, invention. It was kind of a, a standardization of the communication between multiple computers. And then in 77, the number of users on public TCP networks actually outnumbered ARPANET. Uh, so, in the 80s, uh, the first virus was sent on ARPANET, and it actually brought it down to its knees. It was not, and nobody ever envisioned that viruses would be a problem, but the same virus kind of concepts that we're dealing with today actually spurred their head, you know, reared their ugly head. In 82, ARPANET dropped. Uh, I'm sorry, adopted TCP IP, so they actually um, were one of the, the first governmental network organizations to adopt what protocol we're using today to facilitate internet communication. In 84, DNS was introduced. We'll explain what DNS is in, in a little bit. Uh, in 84, the first moderated news groups were introduced in the form of Usenet, which um, some of you might have been involved with that. I think Brandon probably was rocking the Usenet back then. Uh, and then in 87, there were 10,000 hosts online, so you can see this rapid adoption of this technology uh, over the years. Yeah, and in, in, in the 90s, right around the time Vanilla Ice was kicking it, ARPANET died. They actually killed it all. Okay, so the first commercial dial-up service becomes available. Does anybody know what that was? The actual, yeah, you know, yeah, I bet you remember, it's yeah, nice. They called us. Yep. Okay, and now, uh, also around this time in 1991, uh, Tim Berners-Lee, which is a name that we should all know, he's the guy who actually wrote the first web browser and wrote the first HTML tag. So he actually created the World Wide Web. Prior to this, it was just remote systems connecting to each other. So the internet, as we know it today, was born out of this guy's invention and vision at was it Al Gore? 1991. It was not Al Gore. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so... Um, Around 1993, the first big worldwide government organizations got online. The White House was online in 1993, which is pretty uh, enormous deal. And then the first commercial site started popping up in 1994, and actually the very first commercial site was Pizza Hut. Okay, so uh, in 94, Yahoo was founded. Of course, this is the time when everything's really starting to blow up. In 96, the browser wars erupted between Net, uh, Netscape and Microsoft. 
Uh, Google was founded in 96, and Flash was introduced by a company called Macromedia, which you, some of you might remember. Uh, it was later bought by Adobe, and Flash has really laid the groundwork for a lot of interesting and amazingly rich development opportunities for online programming. And then in uh, 99, we had six and a half million sites online, which is just unbelievable. I mean, that's got to be like a 1,000% a or a 10,000% increase 10 years prior. Uh, okay, so in, in the 2000s, uh, we had our first Flash video in 2002, which paved the way for YouTube, which as you know is now pretty much a household name. Uh, in 2003, Facebook erupt, uh, came out on the scenes by, what was the dude's name? Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, Zuckerberg. So he created it in, in college, like in his dorm room, I think. Mm -hmm. The original product was actually called Face Mash, which is kind of <laughs> funny. <laughs> okay, so YouTube was founded in 2005, believe it or not. That really blew my mind when just I heard that. Birthday. It just, just had its birthday. fifth year anniversary, yeah. and that is just unbelievable if you think about the impact that it's had in technology and just internet um, <laughs> stuff in general. Um, so by 2005, we had 68,000 Wi-Fi networks, which is unbelievable. And then in 2006, <laughs> Firefox was released, which yeah. is an industry standard for us today. And then the iPhone came out in 2007. So that's kind of a very brief and, and rapid history. 